Here's a monster-sized episode. <laughs> Jurassic Park, Evergreen style. Oh. This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for... Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for... The Raccoons. photographer is always ready to cover any story. And so, even on a lazy summer evening by Evergreen Lake, Melissa Raccoon makes sure her camera is close at hand. Because you never know when the big story might come along. Ah, oh, what a gorgeous sunset. A perfect end to a perfect day. Yeah, Melissa, I gotta admit it. You sure know how to pack a picnic basket. And you sure know how to empty one, Bert. Now where's Ralph gone? Ah, oh, he's around. Hey, watch this, Melissa. Bet I can make this rock skip 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, 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 monster! Melissa! I see it, Bert. Ralph, what is it? Quick. This is incredible. In I can't lane. believe it. Picture of it, Bert. Fantastic, Melissa. The photo of the century. What's wrong? Are you two all right? You're not gonna believe this, Ralph. We 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 just saw a monster in the lake. It was huge. It was it was humongous. Sure you did, Bert. And I was over by the bikes chatting with the abominable snowman. It's true, Ralph. We saw something in the lake. It it looked like a monster. Oh, come on, Melissa. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? I took a picture of it. The proof's right here, Ralph. I've got a picture of a monster. A monster in Evergreen Lake. Wow. I got the picture. Look at it. Just look at it. That's a monster if I ever saw one. I don't know, Melissa. It could be anything. Oh, hi, Cedric. Come on, Ralph. It's a great photo. What a story this will be. We'll be, uh, uh, you'll be famous, Melissa. A photo of a real live sea serpent. What do you say, Cedric? You don't think there's a monster in there, do you, Cedric? Well, um, Evergreen Lake is very old and very deep. No one has explored it properly. I suppose it is possible. What do you mean, possible, Cedric? I saw it as plain as, as, as plain as the nose on your face. Well, why hasn't anyone seen it before? Well, uh, maybe it's a shy monster. Okay, Ralphie boy, let's get started on the special monster edition of the standard. With this photo, not a chance. We've got to have more than this. I don't believe it. The biggest story the standard ever had and you want to stifle it, Ralph? Exactly, until we get more proof. Well, I think we have an obligation to let everyone know there's something in Evergreen Lake. Right, Cedric? Yeah, I guess so. Bert? Yeah. Ralph? <sighs> I love marking things up 300%. <laughs> Cheap plastic binoculars. 
Recommended price, $1.98. Hmm. Multiply that by 40. Carry the four, add tax. Round it off. We'll sell these at 50 bucks a piece. Oh, goody. I guess that's what you call demand and supply. No, that's what you call highway robbery. Keep <laughs> up. What's going on? Are you kidding? Haven't you seen this? Uh, yes. You know what it means? It means hordes of tourists flocking to see this thing. And that means hordes of money for someone with business sense. Someone like me. But, Pop, you don't believe in monsters, do you? I don't have to. <laughs> Everyone else does. <laughs> You go past the Raccoon Dominium, turn left, and you'll see the lake. A radio interview? Well, sure. Let me check my schedule. No. Tomorrow afternoon's good. See you then. I can't believe this, Ralph. I've been asked to do a radio show, a magazine layout, and a talk show. I'm a celebrity. Come on, Melissa. You have to admit this is getting out of hand. What can you tell them about monsters? You took one blurry photo, and now you're a monster expert? The thing's even got a name now. Evie. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Ralph. Evie is a silly name. Maybe Melissa and I can think up a better one. Evergreen Standard. Can I help you? Boy, Cedric, can you believe all this excitement? <laughs> well, it's not every day a monster turns up in Evergreen Lake. Cedric, we need a close-up of that monster. And you and me are gonna get it. I don't know, Bert. I, I got a lot of typing to catch up on. Tonight, Cedric, you and me. <laughs> scary, Lloyd. <laughs> Real scary. Right this way! Straight ahead! Hi! Welcome to Evergreen Forest! Good to see you! Have a nice time! Oh, hi there! <laughs> wow! This is really something! The monsters put the Evergreen Forest on the map! <laughs> it's fantastic, huh, Cedric? Gee, Bert, I don't know. Well... At least Bert's enjoying it. If I could only get a good, clear picture, we could figure out what that thing is. I thought you were sure it was a monster, Melissa. Changing your mind? I said it looked like a monster. Everybody else is saying it is a monster. Whatever. It's getting ridiculous around here. The forest's a mess. I can't even walk along the road without a bus tour driving by and pointing me out as the husband of Melissa Raccoon. Monster photographer. There's even a society for the preservation of monsters. Melissa, we don't even have a monster. If I didn't know you better, Ralph, I'd say you were jealous. Jealous? Of a blurry photo? I just don't want you to look foolish, Melissa. There's just no such thing as monsters. Ralph. <laughs> Portrait of a jealous man. I, uh, don't see it yet. Me neither. Maybe we can go home now. Shh! What's that? see something. He will. Hey, Melissa, I thought you were gonna check the other end of the lake. Oh, 
Melissa? Ooh. Schaefer? Is that you? M -m 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 Melissa? T-shirts will really catch on. That is, without doubt, the tackiest thing I've ever seen. It'll sell like hotcakes. <laughs> and how about this, boss? Nifty, mm, huh? Never mind this penny ante stuff. What's <laughs> the status on the land grab? We've bought up all the shorefront property on the lake except one lot. And it's gone way up in price, boss. Buy it. I don't care what it costs. Money's no object. Uh, are you all right, boss? Of course I'm all right. Never been better. Now get out of here and buy me that land. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. They found it last night when they were running away from the monster. What do you make of it, Professor? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at the moment, no. I'll, I'll need to make a plaster impression of the print, yes. And uh, then we'll see uh, what we'll see, yes. Melissa, reports tell us that you were attacked by the monster. I was attacked by the monster? It was horrible. It had fangs two feet long. And, and... Tell us, Melissa, were you terrified beyond words when you saw this monster creature? Now, let's not jump to conclusions here. Jump to conclusions? It's a monster, all right, with slimy, horrible, yucky green scales and big claws and... and... Well, look at the size of its feet! There you have it. The scientific proof. Evie, the monster of Evergreen Lake, exists. Attention! Attention! We have an important announcement! In light of the strange activity in Evergreen Lake, the boss, around uh, Zero Sneer, you all to an important press conference this evening. This is something you cannot afford to miss. At his lakeside tent. Of course, refreshments will be available at outrageous prices. Thank you for your attention. Since the monster Evie was spotted, we've had a lot of suckers and tourists. And I know what they want. This, Sneer's Monster Theme Park, to be built right here on the shores of Evergreen Lake. There'll be 2,000 rooms, eight restaurants, four discos, and a bowling alley. Not to mention parking for 5,000 meters, of course. And now, to give you a sample of the quality entertainment the Sneer Monster Theme Park will provide, I present Sneer's Aquacade. Featuring talented amateurs. Checking out that footprint we found, and he's puzzled by it. What did he say, Cedric? 
after rechecking his measurements, he found the footprint was of an even depth. That's not normal. Well, it's a monster print, Cedric. Of course it's not normal. Any footprint is deeper at the heel or the toe. The monster's isn't. So, what does it mean? I don't really know. And neither does Professor Smedley Smythe. He wants to get a closer look at the monster tonight. So do I. I don't know, Melissa. It could be risky. But, Ralph, you've been telling me all along there is no monster. So, what's the risk? Oh, boy. Having a monster in Evergreen Lake is like having a license to print money. <laughs> How are the receipts, boys? Uh, we're not doing as well as we thought, boss. Uh, people don't want to pay $70 for a pair of sunglasses. Oh, all right. Slash the price. Put them on special. $69.95. Anything else? What about um, tonight, sir? Ah, uh, yes. I think it'd be very, um, convenient if the monster makes an appearance. Yes, uh, yes it would, boss. <laughs> oh, this could prove to be exciting. I've never been on a monster hunt before. I have a theory that this creature might be from the later Jurassic era. Bad way, huh? Yes. Monster! Here they come! Now, get out there and sell, sell, sell! There it is! The monster! Nothing. More fog! Coming right up! Help! Full speed ahead! Let's have another blast of fire! Give the tourists their money's worth! Bird. Can you hear us? Bird. Oh! Oh no! Monster. Real or not, it's gonna ram us! Oh. Well, that's it for the 10 o'clock run. Time to get Evie back to the garage. It was a brilliant show tonight, guys. The tourists will love it, and the boss will love us. <laughs> He'd better. I've been sliding over a hot monster all night. <sighs> in my new theme park. All you have to do is sign right here on the dotted line. That's right. Go get those checkbooks. Relax. It's just a monster. <laughs> wow! What are you doing? Get that thing out of here, you hairbrained hot! <laughs> Wow! What a ride! 
Green Lake is calm and peaceful once again. The storm Melissa started with her photograph of a monster has passed. With the help of her friends, Melissa learned that things are not always as they appear. Sometimes you have to look beneath the surface to find the truth. What a mess! I've lost a fortune! I'm stuck with miles of useless beach. My warehouse is packed with monster memorabilia. And to make matters worse, those raccoons have plastered my face all over their so-called newspaper. Come in, and it had better be important. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty realistic, huh, boss? I figure we can make a fortune with this baby, boss. Right, boss? Did we come at a bad time, sir? Wowee! <laughs> that was the most fun water skiing I ever had. <laughs> when Doug 